Hey guys, so this video is going to be a how to revise languages edition but I'm going to refer to it as French because that's the language that I take so that's what I'm going to be talking about but if you do French, Spanish, German, whatever language you do as something this can be useful. So just a quick disclaimer, I am knowing it a French expert, it is not on my strongest subjects, it's one of my weakest, I don't necessarily enjoy it that much but you, you got to revise for it, you got to know how to do well in the exams and I got a 7 in my mock so I mean some might say that's good, some might say that's bad but regardless no matter how good or bad I am at it I still have ways to revise that I think can be helpful for people and I think I've got some good advice so let's do it. I'm going to give you a quick exam overview so four papers, paper one is listening 25%, paper two is speaking 25%, Paper three is reading 25% and paper four is writing 25%. That was quick. I'm going to talk about the speaking paper first because I think that's the one that people struggle with and I think that's the one that I can talk about the most. So firstly, the way that I've been revising for French the past month or so and what my teachers told me to do is literally just learn my speaking questions because this can help for all four papers, obviously speaking the most, but it's useful in general because I'll show you here. So what happens is that you get a set list of questions for each theme and so write out your questions, your answers for them and then what I've done is that I've wrote, so this is for the topic of school, so I've wrote out the question in French, then English, my answer in French and then my answer in English. So this is out of the booklet that you get given but I've been doing it like this, so I've got the English translation as well, and also this is my like final copy. So I did a rough one, got it marked, and now this is my final one, even though it has a few corrections in it. And so I've just been learning the French in this, and you can learn it easily. So read it a few times, put on your phone, get translate to speak it to you. You can get tested on it, that's always quite helpful. Generally because it's quite daunting how much French you've got to know, take it one theme at a time or one question at a time so i mean the third one that i've been learning is education so question one is this where you make fun of how far i am at french but fame moi une description de ton collège so that's the question and then start learning your answer sentence at a time so mon collège s'appelle le bucot school mon collège s'appelle le bucot school you, you learn it and then second one say un collège mix pour les lèvres de ons à des sweet ons Say un college mix pour the lives the ons are these sweet ons. Sorted. And then go through like that and try and learn your full theme and then you can carry on for the rest of your themes. Because obviously learning these is vital for your actual speaking exam because it's a big part of the general conversation. But you can use what you learn because also if you learn how to spell them as well as say them, it means this is really useful for your writing exam because you can use these answers in your writing. And then the vocab that you learn from these questions you can also use in your listening and your reading. So you've pretty much got all four exams covered there just for learning speaking questions. So I highly recommend doing that. And you can also learn them by putting them in places. So I've been writing them out in, I've not finished this yet, in little like quads of four. Like the question and the answers and I've been sticking them in random places. So like sit from your fridge and like every time you want to go in to get a drink or something, then you've got to answer when you're speaking questions before you get your drink. Or I don't know. Put it in your bathroom and next to the sink before you clean your teeth every night. You have to read one of your questions before you clean your teeth. It's kinda of cringe, but I mean it's a way that you can repeat your learning. Because if you repeat it and like learn these questions over that's another thing actually, don't learn them like the week before, start learning them now. Like if you're watching this, first thing I want you to do is write all your speaking questions and start to learn them. Because there's so much of it to learn, you can't do it in one night. If you start it, the earlier you start it, then the more it's going to get in your brain. And when you space out your learning, it will stay better. So do that. <laughs> okay, what else have I wrote on here? For how to write your answers if you've not written them yet. Your spec vocab is very useful. So I mean, I've got it printed in a nice little booklet, but this is from a teacher. And if you don't have this access, sorry, my post notes down. My notes. If you don't have this, then you can print it off on your own. If you just Google your exam board, so LXL vocab specification for French, it will let you come up with a big list, and you can just print it out. And 
advise to print it out at school if you don't want to spend the money on the ink or the paper. <laughs> okay. So they have little sections in the book for each theme and then the back will have general vocab and then specific vocab, so like verbs, days of the week, months and stuff like that. So let's say you're doing your question answers for theme one, identity and culture. You can just go to your theme one and then use the vocab from there because we've got some really nice set phrases you can use. And also to push yourself further, since you're literally just learning these answers so it doesn't really matter if you learn grade nine answers for this and you might think oh that's so difficult like i can't do grade nine answers but you're just learning it anyway so it doesn't matter and then you can use those grade nine phrases in your writing to get a high mark in your writing as well so it's really good i'm showing you here in my french book again this is from my teacher in my class a little sheet of 89 scriptures but i mean screenshot this now if you don't have it and this actually don't work, then just DM me and I'll send it to you. Or I'm sure you could Google it or ask your own teacher to get a nice set list of phrases that you can just include in your answers to boost them up to that high level. So it means you'll get a really good grade in your speaking. You can use your answers to get a really good grade, grade in your writing. And then that's 50% of your exam started. Okay. Uh, same with your presentation for your speaking. Just when you write a presentation, use grade nine structures like that. So you get in full on top band for your presentation and your general conversation. Because that's going to really boost your level. And make the most of what you can plan. You can plan your general conversation, you can plan your presentation. So make the most out of that. Because that's something you can actually learn and just know instead of being put on the spot, which is always more difficult. And then for the rest of the speaking exam, so your role play and your photo card. For me, the best way to practice that is practice. There's loads of examples you can use. You can go on past papers. You can go on sample papers on your spec. And then I have the, I don't know if it would make in the room, but revision workbooks are really useful. So I have the revision workbook for Edexcel. Again, if you do this exam board, then you will still have a revision workbook that you can use. So it just has loads of practice questions in and it has lots of photo cards, loads of role plays. And so I would say, practice them, write loads, get your teacher to mark them, get them on them. Try and make sure you do them in time conditions and without notes, just so you can get a feel for what it's going to be like in the exam. Because not having notes and having such a lot of time to plan your answers is what makes it difficult. So that's what you need to practice and get your teacher to mark them so you know what's going wrong and how you can improve. And then also for the role play, learn set questions and how to ask questions because that's obviously really important and that will get you the last um, four marks at the bottom with the last two questions. Uh, okay, so the revision workbook again, that's really useful. So you're just getting practice, but that's also for listening, reading and writing with the revision workbook, you can get help with that. And also, again, sample papers, papers from previous years. You can practice the reading, listening and writing for that as well as the speaking. So that's really useful to give you a feel. And again, try it in exam conditions about notes because that is how it's going to be in the real exam. So that's the best way to practice. And also for languages, there's lots of apps you can use. I quite like Quizlet, which is quite good. So if you are kind of learning vocab for specific themes, you can just type in LXL, French, identity and culture. And you'll often get kind of like set lists of flashcards ready made for you, which you can just go for go through. So you don't have to waste time making your own. And then also for LXL, they have the actual set vocab specification list on like a little flashcard booklet, like I don't know what it's called, which you can go through, which has like something like 2,000 words in it. So I mean, don't do that as your only source of revision because I'm not sure how well it goes in your brain. But like if you're on the bus home from school and you're thinking, I want to do some French revision, because that happens all the time, then you can just quickly go on Quizlet and flick through some flashcards while you're going home. It's quite a nice way to keep it in your brain if you're kind of doing that, just getting some vocab in. Also, Memrise and Duolingo, I think are quite common with people. I don't use these, but I mean, I might try because I know a lot of people like them. So I'm pretty sure these are all free. I think mean, you can get like premium, but generally all three are free. So download them all and then try them all and then Whichever one works for you, I'd recommend using because apps can be really useful. And also, if you're looking through your themes, because with speaking questions, they generally go through each theme and each like subsection themes. 
So you're already learning a good wide variety of vocabulary themes when you're speaking questions, which is why they're vital to learn. But I think there's some like gaps in your knowledge. For example, for my speaking questions, there isn't any on festivals with an identity and culture. You can use your specification vocab and then go to that specific topic and then learn vocab from that. Because I wouldn't recommend just learning all of vocab in this because you will be there forever. And I mean, learning all of that is imp- A, is impossible, B, even trying is a waste of time. So generally, learn your speaking questions for learning vocab and then any gaps that you think you're missing, you can fill in with the specification vocab. Um, also, this is more for listening, but to get familiar with French or whatever your language is, you can listen to music, the news, and French YouTubers I've been quite enjoying. Um, I've written two in here, someone called Rachel Martino and The Doll Beauty are quite useful because, I mean, they're just French YouTubers or YouTubers who speak in French. But for me, it's quite nice because you get familiar with the language and you're kind of getting used to how everything's pronounced. And generally, I'll put on the French subtitles. So, like, I'll try and listen, but then I can also read as they go along. So I kind of, like, put the vocab to the speaking, basically. But So then that helps with kind of writing and reading to get familiar with how it's written as well and kind of, like, hearing the French in the French. And then I'll turn the subtitles off and then try and just listen to them speaking and see if I can kind of, like, translate it in my head and see what's going on. And then for music, unless you're on Spotify, if you just type in French music and then the first playlist just play. I sometimes do in the morning if I'm getting ready and I fancy doing a bit of French vision alongside that. I'm not sure if there's any good French artists specifically that anybody wants to recommend because I quite like that because some of the French music that comes from Spotify is a bit weird. But I mean, it's still in French, so it's still helpful. Also, the French news, you can get like a French news channel on your TV. Or if you just Google on YouTube French news, then things come up. <laughs> so that's also helpful, just so you get familiar with the language, because I find listening really difficult, but I do think French YouTubers, music, news, anything that just kind of makes you hear like the French language more frequently can really help you, can really help you get used to it. So in your listening exam, you're more familiar and it's easier for you to do the listening paper and get... More marks, which is always the aim. Okay, I think I'm finished now. 12 minutes, that's probably more than enough. So I hope you enjoyed this. If anybody's got any more advice for French revision and how to revise for all languages, then leave it below that people can read. And thank you for watching. Bye.